Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is February 26, 2022. Welcome to the Julie and Myla show. My name is Julie. I am coming to you from Orange County, California. My dear friend Milo is now sitting in his car. Milo, if you could please um, say hello to everyone. Hey, how are you guys doing? So good to have you on the show today. Uh, I'm sitting here at Discount Tire, trying to get my tire fixed. So love all of you. Uh, back to you, Julie. Thank you, Milo. So good to have everyone. Welcome everyone from all around the world joining us today. All of our friends, our new friends, uh, friends that has been have been supporting the Julie and Milo show in the past year. We appreciate you. And also welcome all the guests that are watching us through our YouTube channel. We are currently doing live stream right now on Marty DeGamo, Julie and Milo, uh, Bill Must um, channel, Red Red Fern. We are also doing on, uh, on Massive Nation and on Passive Official Channel as well. Uh, we glad that, that you're joining us today and please do click the subscribe button, like and click the bell just so that every time when we have one of these live shows coming out or any video that we upload, you'll be the first person to get notified. So thanks so much for support the channel and thank you so much for being here with us. Today, the topic that we are talking about is how on passive can help teachers. When I mean, when I said teachers, I mean professor, instructors, mentors, coach, anyone that has something to teach other people, right? Anything that can, anyone that actually have the knowledge, the benefit to actually teachings and, you know, training someone. So, I mean, teachers is all, all that, says everyone in that. All goal for the Julia and Milo show when we bring this topic up is truly wants to start a little bit of thinking in everyone's mind, looking at on passive in different angle, not only just a founder position, but at this time we are going to another phase of looking at the broader pictures, how on passive can help other industry, other venues, other, you know, truly, if you truly looking at on passive, on passive is enough, is enough for everything that we are doing in our life. And on passive will be able to help, will be the solutions to solve any kind of challenges anyone has, especially the people that struggling every single day, trying to get their knowledge, try to share their knowledge. And Teachers is something that I'm really passionate about. Just a little bit about uh, this subject. I am, my degree is in teaching. Back in early 2000, um, the teaching, I guess, salary at that time, when I was hired for a position in one of the school district, I wasn't a teacher at that time. I'm close to, but wasn't a teacher at that time. It was $28,000 to you know, to, to accept that position as a person who graduated from college, having a bachelor degree in teaching in children and adolescent study, my thought at that time actually I think Julie is frozen for a bit. Hopefully she can come back in or reconnect. And what she does is getting paid around that time, probably roughly about 30,000 a year. But I see that my internet is unstable. But at that time, she does whatever it takes for her to be able to mold, to be able to teach these kids with all the senses. Because at that time, growing up, you know, if you can expose your children to any other, any positive environment at that time was something that she wanted to do. I mean, I seen what my mom did and I follow her step, got my, my degree in teaching. And when I came out to, uh, you know, start teaching, I feel that it, it is, it's a very rewarding field, but yet it's the toughest. I think that's Milo. I'm going to mute him because he's inside. 
Um, you know, it's a very, very re re rewarding field, but at the same time, it's the toughest field because you don't get paid that much, but yet you spend so much time to prepare your curriculum, to prepare uh, the materials to teach the children. Not only that, all the pops, all the funds the school or the district provide are not enough. So teaching teachers is a very tough, you know, tough field to be in. You have to be seniority, you have to be tenure in order for you to make certain amount of money. A lot of teachers now a day, because I have children, I see that teachers are teaching our kids, treating it as if it was a career, you know, just because of the, the, the retirement plan, because of all of that, it's not about the passion. So when I learn about on passive and the products of on passive giving to all of us, I see that there is a very beneficial products and a place where we can help our teachers. So the topic that we are bringing here today, just so that you know everyone do know a teacher. So let's have a discussions. You know how do you see some of what we are offering on passive help the teachers? Like I said, when I talk about teachers, I meant professors, I meant mentors. I do know that you do know some of them, or maybe you are. I would love for you to raise your hands and please let us know what the difficulties that you see. If you are a teacher or if you are having children and you see the difficulties in the teachers that teaches your children, I would love to hear from you. Milo, I'm gonna send it back to you. I don't know if you'll be able to uh, speak and, uh, add a little bit more to it, um, the purpose of why we are doing this, and uh, what are the values that we can offer to our viewer or our listeners. Uh, great job, Julie. Yeah, I'm sitting here in discount tire, so it's gonna be noisy. Uh, so I'm just gonna say just a few words and I'll recap it at the end, because by then I should, uh, my tire should be fixed and stuff. So, uh, but I don't wanna create a noise in here, but, uh, Teachers are a great thing, and, and there's so much that I feel that on passive will be able to bring to it. And like you said, it's going to bring, you know, people will be able to have that passion. And as teachers, I know I've got nieces that teach, and uh, they pay a lot of money uh, themselves to make sure that students get what they need and stuff like that. And it's going to be nice for them that they'll be able to offer that. Uh, and and there's so many things when we talk about teachers, it, it's such a wide variety. You could say, you know, teachers in schools uh, and colleges, you could even go as far as say, what about guitar teachers? What about piano teachers? What about voice teachers? So there's many things that can be considered as teachers, you know, but it's a great thing. And uh, I, I do feel that there's going to be many benefits that Own Passive will offer. So I'm going to throw it back to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Milo. Absolutely. Um, we're talking about teachers for everything in life. And uh, I would love to hear from some of us who are here on the panel, uh, anyone that would want to bring in some of the difficulties, some of the challenges that the teachers or mentors or anyone that facing today so that we can bring some more values to them. Okay. All right, I'll bring up some uh, of the hardship. First of all, um, teachers are spending lots of time preparing for them, preparing some materials, some curriculum, some pops to be able to teach the children. And um, it does, it, it, it is a career that is the toughest career, but yet it's a rewarding career. At the same time, the rewarding part of it is that, you know, when you teach a child, when they grow up, they come back and say hello to you and hugged you. And that teachers, that, that little kid coming back to you as a doctor, let's say, or as a, a, an engineer or a lawyer, that is a rewarding part of it because it starts from the very young age. And I see uh, Father Blaze here has his hand raised. I like to call it on him. Father Blaze. Thank you very much, Julia Milo. Uh, as you said, I'm also passionate on teaching. I was a teacher myself for a few years. 
teaching in the high school and teaching also in lecturing with the um, in the in graduate level for those who are preparing to become priests and or lay people who are preparing themselves in religious skills. So one of the challenges I met myself, and I believe it is the one of many teachers, is the access to, to knowledge in some areas of the world. Access to knowledge because you don't have a proper library to find books and then feed yourself your knowledge on the teaching you will, you will share with the young or the student. Uh, lack of instrument of knowledge because also maybe internet access will, will not give you enough information when you can go and find what you need and share with other teachers in many areas in this world, the knowledge they have. And that can help you to enhance um, you, um, you, to, to, to enhance yourself, your techniques of teaching pedagogy, what they call pedagogy. So for me, on passive will be a space where more and more teachers can come together or will be meeting with the, the, the knowledge they have and the way they share this knowledge with a great amount of students and that has help, help them to, to help each other as professional to have something in hands wherever they are and then also be able to to give to, to, to bring this to a small levels and areas where it is so difficult to have access to knowledge. This is one of the challenges I met when I was teaching in those small sorts of those places somewhere in Africa, because I've been in Africa in many countries like the GRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, I've been also in Cameroon, and I believe challenges was the same on those areas. Access to knowledge for teachers themselves. Thank you, Julie. Uh, Julie. Thank you so much for our voice for adding to that. Uh, absolutely, the resources is what missing from a lot of, you know, teachers from a lot of from a lot from around the world actually, even in the U.S. You know, uh, so. I see David has his hand raised. David, thanks so much to Father Blaze. David, please unmute your mic. Yeah, I, I like to say something on that. I think that uh, the schools are having a lot of problems today because I don't think a lot of it's the teachers' fault, but I think it might be some of the school board faults. But they're trying to do away history, and that and that's bad. I think the kids need to learn about history. That's what keeps us going the right direction in our life and teach the kids the right direction in their life to know about history and they're trying to do away with that they're trying to teach them other things they they don't need to know you know but uh, i think that uh, like i said that i i think they need to stay with the history part because there's a lot of history and other like the united states got a lot of history and other countries got a lot of history in it those kids need to learn that history because it makes them a better person when they get out of school so i think they're trying to change that and that's not good so that's how i say thank you Thank you, David. So exactly. So the resources, right? It's another thing that uh, library, library full of histories, right? Li library is where we need it. So the way how I see it is that, you know, we're not looking at just the teachers only. How about the school district? Do we know a school district, you know, one of the board or two? It's, that is something where we actually can play a big role in these districts. Do you have kids that go to, to a school that, you know, belong to a district? You know, think about that, too, because my children right now are in school right now, especially my elementary um, kid. She has so many program. You know, she has classrooms, she has class mojo. I mean, all these program right now, the districts are putting money to pay for those program in order for the kids to have the materials, the interaction. Right, and then they're also programmed for them to keep track with the uh, with the staff. 
this program that keeping track with uh, students' attendance, uh, the students' immunization. There are so many programs right now that the school districts are currently paying. They don't have the budget to be able to, be able to pay for those programs. Therefore, they cut some of those valuable, you know, like what David is saying, history. It's one of the things that should be staying in uh, you know, the school so that the children can learn where they're coming from. And, and, and that's a problem I wanted to bring on. And I know that we have Marty, Milo, and we have a lot of founders on here can say, you know what, these are the problems that the, uh, the school district or the teachers are facing. Now, what about the mentors? What, what about mentorship program out there? You know, what about boys and girl clubs or even Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts? Do you feel that on passive can actually help them? Absolutely. Absolutely. I like to bring some more of the challenges on and then we're going to go back to say on passivity. How are we going to, you know, use the products of on passive to be able to benefit some of these challenges that we see. David, you have your hand raised again. Please go ahead and uh, Yeah, speak. I'd like to say one more thing too. You know, the parents today doesn't have a lot of say in how the kids are teach today. They're they're trying to, uh, uh, I, I don't know, they're trying to take that freedom away from the parents. And uh, I think every parent ought to have their right the way their kids should be teach. And, uh, and today they're trying to take that away from them and that needs to change. For sure, for sure. We can't do, we can't change that, but we can help them to change that by giving them the tools and the power in terms of the resources for us to help them. So I'd like to hear some more. Lisa, I saw your hand raised. Did you need to, did you need to bring up a topic, um, you know, a challenge, Lisa? Okay, I don't hear from Lisa. Milo, did you want to add on to? Oh, he has his mic um, and his camera off. So we're gonna. I was uh, talking. I, I was I was talking with the guy. They're pulling my car in now, so uh, that's why I turned it off and stuff. Let me see. Uh, but actually, I didn't. I didn't hear what you said, other than the mentorship part of it. Let me see if I can turn my camera back on. Uh, there. Uh, give me a second. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure I heard everything that was said, but the mentorship of it, I think it's a great point, you know, with mentors and also the resource. Uh, you know, that's a that's a great thing about own passive and the internet. But, you know, when you talk about uh, now children and teachers and mentors all have, whereas used to, we used to have to go to a library to find things. You no longer have to do that. You just speak into your computer and they'll find it. And then when you talk about on passive, you're talking about that it's going to find so much more and it's going to find it so much quicker. You know, we're talking internet that's five to 10 times faster than what we have now. So it's going to make a huge difference in our learning. And I agree with David on the history part, you know, that we should, you know, teach our children more about history and train them in. We'll be able to train them in mentor them into where to find that information. So I guess that's, uh, I didn't hear that last part that you was talking about because I was with them with my car. That's okay, Milo. I'll, I'll have you come back when you're ready to come back. Um, okay. All right. Thank you so much. You know, I, I would love to hear from other people in other country instead of just what it is here in the U.S., I mean, all those are just some of the points that I see having kids going to school here in the U.S. Um, I, I know Internet is big. We do need to have access to it. And I know other country needs of that. And uh, I like to hear from other country if, 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 if possible. I like to uh, have you talk about what are the people are facing in other country as teachers. Go ahead and turn off my little video.
No, no one is adding to the conversation here. Now, everybody probably, Lystra, go ahead, please. All right, I have a question and I hope it's not a dumb one, but <laughs> I worked with the um, uh, school board in um, Toronto for many years as a um, secretary. And I know that there are challenges and so on. Now, how would I go about trying to reach out to them, which is the best way? I have no idea. Um, it is not a dumb question. It's actually a great question, Lystra. I believe as of right now, our products are not live yet. So it's really truly something where we want to basically educate ourselves. And this is only my opinion. We wanted to educate ourselves in how our product can help them first, right? In what part? So at this point, that's the reason why we brought this up here so that it's kind of stir our thinking away how on passive products can help with these company, these a school district, right? And when you are done with, when you kind of, you know, getting the knowledge of how it is and how it does, how it works. And then at that time, when on passive launched to your world, it's so easy for you to say, you know what, you need this product, go try it out, right? Rather than if you were to bring it to them today and you said, you know, I have this awesome products that I wanted to share with you. And they said, okay, let me know how does it work? What it's like, oh, by the way, it's not launched yet, or it's not, we are in beta testing. So I believe it's best is for all of us to get knowledge about how our products yeah. can help. As we are all think knowing that, you know, we can have product going from and, and, and going from having a domain name to management, to all of that. So I would love for Marty to speak about it really quick. Marty, are you with us? I'm here. Hi, Marty, thanks for joining. Um, Lystra is having a questions about, you know, how does she going to approach these districts? Where she used to work with about on passive. I only heard about half of what you said. Uh, I don't know. I didn't hear it. You're breaking it. You're breaking up, or I'm breaking up. One of the two, but I'm having trouble hearing what's being said. I think I am breaking up because I've been having uh, unstable connections. Lister, do you want to repeat your question so Marty can hear sure. too? Yeah, I was asking, I said, I worked for the school, okay, the school board for quite a few years ago. And if I wanted to reach out to them to bring this product to them, how uh, do I uh, go about that? In the future, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, a, like Julie that's, said. that's, that's a big one. Um, I think when... Anytime with the product part of it, where you, you're going to sell the product, the questions that they're going to ask you, you won't know the answers because we don't know. But I think when it comes out and, and they make these videos that go along with something to do with what you're talking about, where you can go and share that, something short, and then you educate yourself on it. You can say, look, you can do this, 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 and this. I, I'm not a teacher. My daughter is a physical ed, ed teacher. Uh, where, where I was, what I was thinking, and like I said, I have no back, I have no idea. But for somebody, let's say, uh, wanted to know history, like David said, a teacher or a professor that teaches history could come onto the platform and teach it and make his own course, and then actually monetize that by charging whatever he wanted. Now. For the schools, um, a lot of schools are still doing uh, off, you know, out of school teaching, which would be great because academy you could do that. There's so many applications that, oh my God! I mean, and I think it'll be more and more clear as things open up and 
we see how things work and all that. But I mean, like if, if I wanted to learn Spanish, you know, I, I got the four grandchildren here. It's not like I'm going to be able to go somewhere to learn that. But there'll be a day when I can go in my own back office and say, uh, Spanish, uh, Spanish lessons, 10 lessons for blank, blank, blank. I click the link and there's a person that is a Spanish teacher and they're offering their services and it's fairly reasonable. And I go through the whole course and I learn some Spanish. It's a, both people win, the person learning and the person sharing. It may not sound a lot, but with Unpassive, if you leverage what you're doing, a teacher that makes the average income for a teacher in the United States is $62,000 a year. 10% is like 40,000, 30,000. But it depends on where you live and how much you make. Uh, but if you could take a few courses and put them on, on passive, uh, you could double your salary. Because it's not like you need to charge a lot. Like as said, a year from now, when you have 100 million people and one tenth of 1% want to learn how to speak Spanish, you just gave yourself a raise and you could set it up ahead of time. It's not like you even have to be there. You could make a, a series of short videos. You put it in and as they click one and finish it, they pay 20 bucks and whatever you want to charge. They say, well, I want to learn course number two. They pay another 20 bucks and boom, 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 boom. And then you could also sell the whole course for a grand total of something. So it, there's so much you can do. Uh, I wouldn't know what to say to a school because I don't know I don't know the function or the mechanics of what we have yet. But listen, you're a sharp lady. When it comes out, find out from your experience what part is in there that would work for what you did. And if it did, it'll work for millions of people. I would wait, let it come out, learn how it goes and go, okay, I got it. You set up your own idea because you you know what would work for them once you can see it. The problem we have now, we don't have a full vision of anything. It's little bits and pieces. But what we do know is educators or people that want to be educated can kill it, right? I mean, there's going to be a lot of travel. You can have somebody comes in and tells you the culture of each country. Like I went to Japan and you don't do certain things. I didn't know. I got a book and told me what not to do and what to do. And you would think, oh, what's the big deal? Some things upset people so you got to be careful and all that but there's you can go in and learn Japanese enough to get by how do I get to the hospital can, how do I get a taxi where's the hotel stuff like that and you can survive until you learn a little bit more but the sky's the limit I mean I every time I think about what I'm passing will do especially for educators because they're not paid that well and and like some people say, oh, I'm not happy with what I'm getting. But if you wanted to go back and learn history, what your kids do, you could send them to a history teacher and tell them what's really happened in history if you don't like what's going on in school. Some people, their kids don't go to school. At all. I know uh, Ash's son, the, the genius little boy there, he does everything online, absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's a great education. And look, we go, people go to school for four years, when in reality, you should be able to finish your course in about one year. A lot of it's just, you take stuff in school you don't need. You know, home ec, well, what comes with home ec? I mean, you wanna be a scientist or an engineer and they got you, well, you need two classes of this, why? It's, just, it's craziness, but all that's gonna, I think the world's gonna change. And I think Unpassable will have a big impact on what how people look at things, I really do. It's not going to happen overnight, but I, I think things will will change because it's going to be a force to reckon with when you have a million people, two million, a hundred million. So I'm sorry I got off course, but there's so much. As you learn it, Lystra, you when you got it inside your head and your heart, you say, "Okay, I'm going to the school. I know what I want to tell them." That's all. Just wait until it comes out. It's not clear yet. That's all. It'll be clear to all of us musicians, teachers, professors, uh, Red, talking to Red today, he's a chef, a certified chef. Uh, he can make dinner for him and his family and get paid for it. I mean, think about that, it's no joke. 
and then you know whatever it happens to be. So he's getting paid to eat. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all I got. All right. Uh, thank you, Marty. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Lystra. Thank you, Marty. Marty, I'm going to put you on the spot really quick because I know uh, you had spoken to a university before. And um, if you could share with everyone here, what what did you bring on the table when you actually spoke with the university? I brought the main course. His name was Ashley Fora. That, that helped a lot. Um, but at that time, it was about a year ago. And I believe within that year, Ashley Fora took Academy, wrinkled it up, threw it in the trash and rebuilt it probably twice, okay? Because as he's going, he wanted to get better, better, and better. That now would have made more sense. But it's still not too late because uh, they'll be in. Some of What? You do know I'm on a live, right? Okay, give me one second. That's way more important than what we're talking about, Julie, just in case. Absolutely. Hi, Shorty. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't care. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. The university. Oh, they asked a bunch of questions. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do that? Ash, Ash answered them all. But we still got to that point when? That's right. And that answer couldn't be, you know, it could, we couldn't answer that. Ash couldn't answer that at the time. But we're getting real close that that deal that we talked about would have been a done deal because you can answer it's now. You know what I mean? So they didn't go anywhere because there's nothing out there any better. I don't care what people are doing, whether it's a month from now, a few months from now. When this comes out, if they, even if they have a contract, they're, they're, at the end of their contract, they're coming down past. So but it's massive. I, I, I have a, a Bahama team. And uh, you guys know Daryl Cook. He's gobbling up schools in the Bahamas. Absolutely gobbling them up because they're seeing, even though, thank God, this pandemic seems to be dying down a little bit. Some people, I think, will be educated from home. I just do. I just think a lot of things have changed. I don't. I think that, that kind of was a kick to people. I think you can get a better education. Ask, ask brought up big points about the waste in school, the waste. I mean, look how much people are paying to go to school. Uh, Dr. Benny can give you a horror story of what she's paying for school. And we did a student loan or a loan for my daughter. I'm still paying on it. And what's really sad, my daughter's not even doing what she went to school for. That's right. I mean, what a joke. I mean, people don't know what you want. What do you, what do you know at 18, 19 years old? You have no clue. Right. Most of the kids, you don't know what you want. I see people taking these courses and spending $60,000 for a job that's going to pay them 20. <laughs> it's crazy. But I think the option, I think everything will change because we're thinking one way, but I think the way we think and what we do is going to change along with on passing. We're going to see changes in our lifetime where we go, Wow, I'm, pay, I'm passing made that happen, I believe. But every the sky's the limit, whatever's out there. But it goes back to whatever your passion it is. Like uh, Lister knows about <clears throat> schooling and, and the board part of it. She'll never forget that. When I'm passing, gets to that point, she's going to go, oh, my God, the, look what this is going to do for what I used to do or what I do now. And that's, that the light bulb is going to go off and everybody in on passing. I mean, there's so much. It's you imagine going to the market center and O Market or whatever it is, and punch up anything: health, uh, learning, Spanish, cooking, uh, fishing. Everything will be there, and if they click on it and they take the course, you're going to get paid too. That's why I get people in on passive and they're they're yours for life. Whatever they do. Ash brought up about the cement glue that they created. He's not joking. So built, you don't think there'll be builders that are in on passive? Maybe only a couple hundred million, right, eventually. So everything we do will be there. A guy said to me, yeah, when I get the money, I'm going to buy a car. I said, if you wait a while, you could probably buy it through on passive. You don't think there'll be car dealerships that are in O-commerce or whatever? Uh, absolutely. And you can pay them with your wallet from the back office. I mean, it's, I'm sorry I'm getting off. I always lose my mind. But 
but anything's possible from coaching. You brought it up last week. And every show you've had, coaching, singing, music, people left knowing a lot more than they came with. And that's all we're doing is teaching people the up the limit is the sky's the limit. There is no for anything you want to do, anything. I think you'll have educators on. Ash already said that you'll be able to go into academy and get a degree. That's a big step from a year ago, everybody. It was an open forum before, not so much now. He's actually going to have people there that will teach those kind of kind of things. And he gave an education last night in traffic. And I told him all the horror stories I went through. And last night, he just made me look like I was from romper room. <laughs> no, no, you, you understand what I'm saying? So you, you know that you got this guy. I know this is out in the open. You got Frankenstein developing all this stuff for the better because his limit here is zero. He has no limitations what he thinks. If, it, if you think it, you can have it. And I, I, he's right. And we're all part of it. We don't even have to think it. We get to ride his coattails, as you said, Julie. Mm -hmm. All of us. But anyway, yeah, and sky's the limit. I don't care what you're training, what you want, what you think. When when you think it, there. when your light bulb goes off, you're going to find it on passive. Has a tool, a product, or something that can enhance that career. I don't care what it is. You can't think of one thing and tell me that they, they couldn't do it on passive. Especially when it's done. Because we keep thinking... We keep thinking that everything's digital. You know what I'm thinking? Digital is a multi-billion dollar company. It's going to wind up being 1% of unpassive. passive. There's so much we don't see. Physical products he brought up. Chemical products. It's like, what chemical product could there be? He just said last night they developed an adhesive for people that are builders. Come on. Did you think he was thinking of that? <laughs> no. When the freak was you thinking of that? And we're all part of it. I'm going to bring people into ONET free. Why? Because once they're there, they're going to shop. They're going to buy something. I'm going to get money for it. That's what everybody should think. Stop thinking about the fruit in the top of the tree. Get the, get the apples that already fell out. And you'll be a millionaire. All of us. But anyway, I know I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> so I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to stop because it's, it's not good for me or you, okay? And thank God Milo's stuck in a <laughs> fireplace and this would be even worse. Anyway, that's, that's all I got. Thank you, Marty. Don't go away yet because I know we do have questions coming up too that we are going to need your input in that. But absolutely, what Mar Marty is bringing up right here, it's amazing. We got to think broader than what it is now, right? At the, at the beginning, we focusing on how we're going to invite more people in to join our, our business as founders. But today, we got to think about, and especially on today's topic, we got to think about teachers, mentors, instructor, professor, trainer, anybody that can think of, anybody that changes your life or your kid's life, right? So I, I, I appreciate Mar, uh, Marty for saying that. Milo, you don't have to raise your hand. Please jump on in, Milo, and then I'll start calling on hands after you finish. Wow, that was good stuff, Marty, and I agree with everything you say. It's freezing up here in Tennessee, and I can't believe it, man. I'm out here walking around the parking lot, so it's not too noisy in the other room. But uh, that was great stuff. But, Lister, one thing that uh, I thought uh, that I think that schools will really be able to use it in is, uh, is old staff. But like Marty said, we got to wait till it all comes out and see everything. But I mean, when you talk about old staff, uh, you know, that's a, that's a tool that I think every school will will love and will need, you know, to track whether it's parents, it's children, it's uh, it's everything. And of course, Academy is going to be huge, too. And, and like uh, David's point about history, you know, how cool is it that you can you can teach all these different classes on it and you'll be able to do that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just going to make it better for all of us. And like uh, Marty was saying, we don't even know, you know, uh, maybe one-tenth of what it, what it actually is. So just wanted to bring that up. Absolutely, Milo. Thank you so much. And another, uh, Milo, let's try there. I'm a, going back inside. Okay. All right. Um, 
Lystra, um, one thing is that um, one thing is true is that there is a less than six minutes video, Lystra. That is a very good one that on passive put it out for you for for all of us to actually be able to use those. Uh, and in fo it is focusing on the event of O staff, but I think that's a good one for you to start. I have noticed that Daryl Cook is here with us today, and Daryl Cook as you know, Marty is talking about Derek Cook is wobbling every get all the school in the Bahamas. Derek Cook, if, if you are in the house, please, if you would uh, unmute your mic and uh, give us some more value. Hey, how's it going? Doing great. Good to see you, Daryl. Thanks for joining us. Well, I was going to stay incognito. Hey, Milo. <laughs> but uh, since Marty brought us up, yeah, let, let me just tell you what we're doing. We're trying to find key teachers that the folks, the other founders in the Bahamas know. And so we reach out to them. We explain to them, you know, what's going on with O Academy, uh, O staff, and some of the other tools that are pertinent for, you know, teachers. And then our goal is to get that teacher to understand it. Then we, we're actually sponsoring the teacher. And then we ask the teacher, you know, what school that they're involved in. And then we talk a little bit more. Then we actually find uh, sponsors for the school. So it's kind of a grassroots movement. And I think we have about 10 schools now in three islands. Uh, and it goes everything from a um, daycare right up through a college. So we, we've covered every aspect. And, and we're hoping that more will come on board. But, hey, it's a good start. And uh, we're excited about it. Daryl, thank you so much for joining us. And, and you did. You brought up some of great points. Sponsor your teachers. That's beautiful. I love it. It's it, the lights start turning on on my head right now. Daryl, so I want to add one thing, Julie, real quick. Super important. Grab people like Daryl and get them on your team. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, today we are focusing on teachers. Can you please give us how you start this? How do you how do you go to from point eight to talk to the teachers to the point where you said, okay, I'm I decide that I'm gonna sponsor you? Could you please kind of walk us through that and how did you do it? You know, kind of because we're all here to learn today. Yeah, well, you know, the Bahamas is a very close knit um, people group. And they're very, very active in their, their schools, they're very active in their churches and in their government. So really, it was, it, the, the history and the culture of the people was, was set. And then what we did is we just started reaching out and asking the school district or the teachers of the school districts, how do, how do the schools get new equipment, et cetera, et cetera. And there was one key statement, and it said that outside organizations actually send money or equipment to these schools, both public and private. And I said, ka -ching. that was the key. So now we know that the Bahama school districts, the, the, the uh, public school districts allow private industry, private donations to come to those districts. So then it became, it was really easy. So we just started asking the, the teachers, how do you get this? How do you get that? And we found that um, it needed a lot of work. So we just started to explain what on passive was all about. We guaranteed them nothing except for superior products that are coming and superior support staff from the company. And then we also shared with them, oh, bless. And when we did that, it was like, Oh boy, <laughs> what school district wouldn't want to come on? So we shared how Old Bless could be a, a, a inter-island help just within the um, Bahamian group, and then showed them how by becoming a founder, they could be plugged in with 1.2 million people around the world. And if they needed X number of computers, well, what's the price tag? And then we set up a campaign through Old Bless ask for 50 cents a piece, and you've got you know, a half a million dollars. But that's all uh, speculative, but they caught the vision. And uh, so we're working with some very, very key teachers in very, very high places. 
uh, in the teachers union. We got them involved and then they started to talk and share. And so that's what it is. Don't be afraid to ask teachers their need. And Mr. Mufar is a master at that. Ask what their needs are and then you show them the solution. Absolutely. I hope that helped. Absolutely, Daryl. Thank you so much for uh, coming on. Are you staying with us until the end of the uh, of the program? Yeah, I actually was on the live stream, and then when I heard Marty say that, I said, "Okay, I better I better come out of my closet and uh, <laughs> share what's going on because there's a few key people in the Bahamas that have started this, and then it went from key people to key groups, and 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 I think every area of every people group can do that. They just have to." you know, get out and start sharing. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Daryl. Uh, we appreciate your being here with us. And uh, as, as we all know, Daryl is doing a lot of work behind the scenes, um, you know, in terms of writing and education as well. So thank you so much for being here with us. Um, I do see that there's a lot of hands. We do have Daryl, we have Milo, we have Marty here. Uh, if you have questions or if you have either questions about how to approach someone or how do you share on passive with the teachers or all the categories uh, that I mentioned, please raise your hands here. I'm gonna call on Tim Dillon. Tim? Thank you, Thank you Julie. Um, I'm sitting here brainstorming terribly because I come from a family of educators and my uh, brother is out in California Pretty close to you, Julie. He's in Riverside. And he is a teacher's teacher. He teaches people to teach. And I have tried to introduce this to him. But I understand coming from educators, they are very skeptical about everything. They question everything. It's really hard to break that mold. Now, the one thing I do know, if you want to break into the school districts and you want to help schools, the superintendents are the ones you have to talk to. And by the way, Marty, good sermon. And Daryl, you're doing great down there in the Bahamas. Wonderful way to go. Um, but Daryl's point, about contacting teachers and getting them to see what you have is a way to get to the superintendents, to get them to open the door to let you in. I don't know. I see Academy being very, very huge to the education industry. It's going to change. It's going to be like changing a light bulb. You know, and Julie, you know, you have those light bulb moments or movements, however you want to say it. Um, I see this as being a very, very huge tool for schools from grade school right up through college. Between O Academy and O staff, oh my goodness. And the history of education will be changed like a light bulb. God bless. Absolutely, Tim. Thank you so much. Uh, very true. It goes from grade school to the college, post-grad, everywhere. Um, not only Academy is helping, is beneficial. Oh, staff, every single product of Unpassive. Imagine you want to put a videos together right? you can't pinpoint it's, one thing yeah it's all gonna work it's it, it, the entire ecosystem of unpassive will be beneficial for anyone that participate yes, and i see that you know looking at my mom every night going home stay until midnight and prepare for the next day it's it's terrible Right. Right now we have the tools to do it with an on passive. So thanks, Tim, for bringing and that with, up. With our academy and what it provides, our children oh, 
and the, the children coming about will get a better education than they're getting now. Absolutely. More well-rounded. Thank you, Tim. All right, uh, Nazro from Bangladesh, if you would please unmute your mic. Uh, thank you, Julie. Give me a chance. Good evening, all panelists and all dedicated on recipients on behalf of our Bangladesh community. I think O Academy is a revolutionary product on our own basis. And today's topic is very much relevant uh, to our country, especially uh, the third world country. Uh, we have not getting so much highest level of education. I think these teachers who are not knowledgeable and learned about IT, they will be not get more benefit, but a learned and IT knowledgeable teacher will be get more benefit from on passive. And it is more helpful for our student, especially our third world students. They have gotten a chance and a chance about the first world country. So my one query is if a student has completed a degree or short degree, who will give the certificate? And is this certificate is accepted by any government? Please tell me. Um, when someone finishes the course with a non-passive, it's the teacher or the university or the professor who teaches that, give them the degree not on passive. So this is something where we are still learning as we go. At this point, that's what I believe that the professor or the teachers, or if there's university, is that um, they will be giving the degree, not on passive. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Sylvie Wanzi, I see that your hands is raised. Please open your mic. Thank you, Julie, for giving me the floor. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Mighty, for the excellent knowledge that you provide here. Let me tell you that what you are doing is cheating. You are trying to, you know, to transmit knowledge, and that is part of teaching. Teaching is a very broad, you know, uh, profession. It is very multi, uh, multifaceted. And it can be counselor, role model, and uh, everything that we, we can imagine. So I'm just grateful on uh, what uh, um, passive will bring to the, to the third world, you know? Because when I remember uh, back in my teenager when we were at school, uh, we didn't have the capability to, to access some uh, uh, tools like, you know, books, uh, library, and so on. So we were really limited. What happened is we rely only on what the teacher was giving us. So today with the technology that is, you know, becoming the tool that we're going to use and added to, the, uh, to, to, to AI that uh, our CEO brought to the product, I see, I'm kind of envision how big uh, he will be, he will benefit, you know, the third world. How come? I know that now, even though if we are more than 100 in class, because that's how it is, you know, people are in sometimes 60, 100 in a class, and uh, there is no way that the teacher can, you know, capture the attention of, of uh, all the students, meaning what those who are willing to, to, to learn we learn, but most of them will not even listen to what the teacher is saying. But through uh, academy, I know that there is the attention, you know, uh, span included in the, the, the tool. So teacher will be able, if it's through a video conference that we will have, he will be able to see the, 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 the student distraction, which is benefit for everybody. And in return, even those teachers, it thinks everything is about knowledge and knowledge is power. Teacher will transmit the knowledge and at the same time, they will be able to educate themselves, you know, 
through everything that we have, they will be able to go and recycle, to do the continuing education because uh, in the third country, teacher are not as pay as we know, you know, but they're the one doing the great job, but they might not have capability, financial ability to pay and recycle the, themselves. But with on passive, everything will be, you know, uh, cheaper and affordable. So teacher will have the chance to go back to school, recycle and bring back again knowledge. So that is the little thing I have to say today. Thank you so much for, for this topic. It's very interesting. And I'm pretty sure that he will help everybody. Even all of us, we go back to school. What are we doing? We are here in class. So I'm very grateful. It will give me the opportunity to go and listen from those who know and also help me to, to transmit what my knowledge. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Milo, Madi, and everyone. Thank you, Sylvie. Thanks so much, everyone, for bringing a lot, a lot of points here today. Um, as, you, as we all know, a lot of the things that we brought here are the resources, right? The resources for the teachers. Let's talk about, let's, let's talk about what can we do from this point in on passive to help them to be able to share their passion. They don't have to worry about paying back their loan, right? Paying for materials paying back, uh, you know, spending their own money to prepare for the courses, right? So there's so much more than just the resources that we're providing teachers. I see Sherry Dursaway is uh, hand raised. Sherry, if you would please unmute your mic. Hello, everybody. This has been incredible. Thank you for having this. Uh, thank you for all the leaders um, who share their input. It's really amazing. Um, so I know a couple of teachers, and I know that a lot of them do put out their own money for supplies and stuff, even though <laughs> out here in California, they say that the, the lottery is supposed to, money is supposed to go towards that, but whatever. Um, so that's going to be phenomenal. Um, my daughter is a vegan chef, so she'll be able to use this uh, to go out throughout the world to share her craft. And my brother is a mechanic, and I know that he comes home, he teaches the high school kids, so he, like, really needs a break from them. I know, <laughs> I know that he enjoyed it during the uh, lockdown for a little bit. So I just believe that teachers don't make any money, and I really never thought that was fair to begin with. And so this is going to change that. Now, as far as a student, this is going to be a blessing for me. <laughs> One, this is going to be a blessing for so many people because there's a lot of bullying when you go to school. It's kind of uh, crazy um, what happens in school. I mean, kids are kids, but at least this will cut down a lot of that. And then I'm one of those people who freeze at test. So maybe this will help me so I don't freeze so much at test during the class time. Um, so this is just a win, 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 win uh, in so many uh, ways that I am excited for it because I know there's lots of things I'm looking to learn. So if you got anything out there, I'm waiting to learn it. Thank you so much, Julie and everybody. I love what everybody is doing. I love the platform that we're learning more about what things can do for us and for others. And that's the main thing is to help others. Love you all to pieces. Take care. God bless you all at the very top where ears have popped. <laughs> Absolutely, Sherry. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say that if the if you are teachers right now watching this view uh, this video or on YouTube on live stream, uh, please get back with the person who shared this with you. It is very important, beneficial for you as well to be part of on passive is because you have gone through years and years of learning. Um, you know to actually share your knowledge with kids, right, with other people, not to spend your own money out to pay for more things and to develop the courses that you need. OnPassive has that solution for you. So if you are watching this and you are teachers or a trainer or coach, uh, anything, or even if you are uh, looking to learn or to um, teach a different, another language, right? I would love to learn French, right? I would love to learn another language. So if you are out there and you wanted to be part of this, 
want to use the resources that we have or the values that we have here. Um, would love for you to get back with the person who shared that with you. Dr. Benny, I see you have your hand raised. Would love to hear from you. Um, good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning to each and everyone. Thank you, Ms. Julie, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Malo and uh, Brother Matty. Uh, I believe this, uh, this is an interesting story. Um, when I left Cameroon, we, uh, when I was in Cameroon as a student, we, we did not have, there was no internet. Uh, we did not have a lot. We did not, there were, we didn't have a lot of resources. And uh, so when our instructor provide us with an assignment, there were, we did not even have library at all at that time when I left Cameroon. But uh, we, there were some few textbooks that uh, they told us to buy and uh, we just have to go and utilize the textbooks. And uh, just to let you know, or each and everyone, yes, most of the instructors or the teachers all over the globe, they are underpaid. And uh, it is about time because they spend most of their time, eight hours teaching the students. Uh, we expect the government to really, really pay them. But anyway, oh, when I came, my, my father is an educator as well. And I am forced, I have to go to school, whether I like it or not. As we all know, maybe a lot of people don't like school, but education is the key to success. To me, without education, I am nothing. To be good, is not good enough. You have to exceed expectation. So when I attended school in the United States, I noticed that I actually I went to tr traditional school in class and I have to buy all the textbooks and everything. And then my, my first master's was traditionally and I, did, I have counseling, uh, a, a master's in counseling, which I do counsel some of the students as well I can mentor students as well if they need my help because it is very, very important. Then attending uh, Capella University, uh, the school loan was too much. Uh, I, I am so thrilled that uh, on Passive, we do have all academy, all academy that people or the students, they will not be able to spend too much money my school loan is too much, very, it's too much. So there are a lot of resources uh, based upon COVID-19, a lot of students were utilizing, you know, like Zoom in order to do their homework. Now I have my, my half brother in Cameroon for the first time he told me to buy him uh, a laptop because he couldn't go to school. He has to do his own homework uh, from home. So, but I know that Academy would do a lot. It will help a lot of people all over the globe. So I will like all the, uh, by the way, I was a teacher as well. I taught here in America, biology and environmental science. And most of the, the students did not want to do their homework at all. So they, they have textbooks, but they don't want to do it. But some of them don't have, pencils and pen. So what I do, I will, I go and buy pen and pencil for them because some of their parents don't have the money to buy books for them, you know, like notebooks as well. So I believe that academy will really, really help a lot of our instructors and our students as well, because most of the time you guys will stay at home and you know, like the teachers will be looking at you. They do have the courses, right? And, and uh, our students now will be working intensely doing their homework 
online, which is very important. Uh, I, I don't want to waste too much time, but I want to thank you so much for this opportunity. And I want to thank our CEO because he is here to eradicate poverty and to uplift humanity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Benny. Thanks for being here and thank you for your contribution on this topic as well. Um, as we all understand that, you know, what on passive is offering right now, especially we're focusing on the teachers, the mentors. Uh, it's a tre tremendous values that we're putting on the table. As for all of us who are listening to this program, I would say ask ourselves, how can the local district how can the local chapter can be beneficial from, from this program, from also from what on passive is offering? And I truly really, uh, really stirred a little bit in your mind so that you can think bigger, further than just the founders, being a founders of Unpassive, right? Milo, I see that you are in your car. Are you be able to, I know you're oh, you're started driving now. So Whenever you're ready, Milo, just jump in, okay? Okay, Julie, I'm uh, I'm having troubles. They got my car, I thought, fixed, but now it's got a loud noise in it. So I'm back at the dealership, So, <laughs> or back at the shop. So I'm going to okay. be out for a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. That's all right. All right. That's all right, Milo. Thank you. All right, Mamata, I see that you have your hand raised. Would love to hear from you. And uh, please, let's stay on the track of this topic we're discussing. Uh, thank you very much, Julie. Uh, thanks a lot. I could not resist myself uh, after when I see uh, YouTube uh, was going on live and the topic was an, really near to my heart. And I pinged you and you have sent me the link and thank you very much. Many, many thanks for both of you and I even hello everyone over here, all the LC leaders, uh, Marty and uh, Milo also. Uh, first of all, myself, Mamta Kulkarni from Pune, India. I uh, am relating this topic with me because I'm working as a teacher since 25 years. So it was uh, not a very smooth journey, but yes, many challenges uh, we had overcome it. Uh, basically, I believe that uh, parents and the teachers, they shape up the next generation. As far as our country is concerned, I'm living in Maharashtra state and few uh, small cities they uh, are also having uh, the private schools. Uh, here, the private schools are uh, many uh, as compared to the uh, government schools. So I don't know about the remaining about the remaining countries, but I would like to talk about my country. What, if, what is going on over here? As a teacher, uh, it's my analysis and observation. Schools act, are actually are enrolled uh, under charitable trusts. So they are uh, paying less bills for electricity, less bills for water, less bills. Even uh, the land is taken on lease uh, with no, um, relatively with no value. So uh, those who are having the good connections, they get it and they are establishing their private schools. Now I will come to uh, the topic where the what the teachers actually uh, are relating with our product and why, why they should relate it to our academy or on passive or entire our revolutionary business. Actually, the teachers are teaching over here, but the uh, pay pay scales are relatively very less. Uh, some private schools are offering them uh, some another amount and giving them some another amount. So I believe that uh, proper rewards are not given back to the teacher and their uh, entire hard work. Uh, though we consider that this is a very uh, um, noble profession, but the treatment is practically given is something else. I am uh, right now talking about the facts which is going on as I am working over here since 25 years. Now the teachers are teaching with a low payment or with uh, signing um, amount is something else and receiving amount is something else. Academy is providing them the global platform to work. Some teachers are, uh, can they are very much keen to teach many subjects. 
so of course they can enroll their subjects they can enroll themselves there as a recognized teacher along with their due, um, degrees and all and it may happen later on that they are establishing way ahead than they are thinking then they are they are working 20 25 years in a, any private school with a very high uh, position uh, so that is a game changer for the teachers and as far as the students are concerned the students are learning from the teacher of whatever the schools are in, uh, employing them now academy is going to give even the students a, a, a big spectrum uh, towards selecting the teachers the students may uh, be able to select their own teacher because the teachers uh, entire profile would be there on academy uh, profile section so the teachers and uh, students and the parents they would discuss and the teachers uh, would be selected directly by the parents and the students now the students when the students are selecting the teachers and they are all uh, uh, teachers are teaching and the students are learning then what the main aspect is going to change that is the main system is going to be changed why because when the uh, when we are teaching from home entire building which right now we are uh requiring uh, all these things three four uh, floors and many um, ma mousies and kakas and maids and all this entire things are not going to happen because the students are going to learn from their own home the teachers travel expense and the travel time also will be reduced the students Thank are you. under the yes and the students are monitoring uh, they would be monitored by their own parents so the parents there would be a good repo and uh, emotional bonding between the parents and the students that whatever they are doing the parents are monitoring them so actually they are raising their child in true sense because Thank otherwise you. what happened because otherwise what happened the students other uh, they uh, board the bus and the parents say bye bye and then they evening at the evening they come but they do not know entire what happened in these 7 to 8 hours what happened in bus what happened in in class entire environment is changing there are so many social problems also where the students should not get exposed right now at that age i am talking about the primary section so Absolutely. you that, know the a lot uh, mamata there there are so much A lot of the things that you brought on right now, I believe that all the products of on passive, especially academy, will be able to give the yes, teachers I would, yes, I would, to yes, monitor the students as well. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, now it is um, our our uh, country has changed the educational policy. So education policy, the changed uh, what the students are they can select any subject. It's not now science, commerce, and arts. They can select any stream. Means one subject from art, two subject from science. So that is the very good part on academy. We get the lot of lists of the global teachers that the children can select their teacher and then. they can have whatever subject they want to teach apart from the policy apart from the subject any extra subject if for foreign uh, uh, languages if they want to learn of course they can in addition to their policy they can inculcate their habits in that and uh, the last point i would like to mention it that customer is a king this Uh, is a global platform and a revolutionary system uh, customer is a king so every child is not going to earn and learn they are going to learn and earn so this paradigm shift ha- is happening over there the parents need not have any uh, pressure or stress about the fees loan for the fees or something else teaching them sending them taking them away then bringing them at home all this system is going to be changed in 360 degree and the last our honorable founder before me uh, two three uh, founders back one he was talking about the uh, obles and he he has suggested that we can uh, give away the um, pcs to the children but 
i would something uh, at that time i was i have i had accepted that very nicely and i am really happy for that but along with that i would that uh, mr ash mufar our ceo was talking about the physical products but then we are having so much of strength and it's a need of uh, the thank education thank you mamata for joining us i appreciate your sharing i do have other hands that are raised right now i appreciate yes. some of the point you, that you brought up and and definitely yes, that, only one one point that this it may happen that the uh, mobiles tabs or the pcs can be given uh, to the students uh, through our physical products if we are thinking for the physical products it will help a lot for academy and for entire system thanks a lot julie for calling me thank you very much thank you for coming on to, uh, to the julie and myla show today Up next, I see Mallory Perry. Mallory, I see your hand raised. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen you here before. I'm glad that you're joining us. Thank you. I am friends with Robin Noble. She introduced me to Unpassive. Beautiful. And, uh, my question uh, is kind of um, technical, I guess. When and we may not be able to answer it. We may not have the answer yet, but. Um, In talking with schools, say it's a small private school um, that you want to bring on, and maybe um, you know they're always fundraising. Uh, but on path, if they become on passive founders, uh, the on passive opportunity becomes a perpetual fundraiser for them, and they can count on those additional funds coming in. Um, but my question is about the platform. Say there are a hundred teachers in this school, and of course you have administration and and the accounting. I realize that the there are some products on the dashboard on the complete platform that you can um, designate who has access to them and who does not. And the accounting one is a perfect one to point that out. There may be just four people in this private school who have access to the accounting. However, with the email, with the uh, constant contact product that we're doing, and with the Zoom, and um, with the CRM, um, how is it go? Is it safe to say that one one license, if you will, uh, or one founding member position, is it safe to say that the entire school could operate off of that one license? Absolutely, I believe so, and I know Daryl Cook here. If he can add into what I am answering, I I have heard that not only that can use that one position, but on passive will also give them the white label to to be able to run that. Am I right, Daryl? If you would please address that. that hey, uh, yes, Mallory. Um, here's what my understanding is: um, every school. Is a think of it as a as a company. Every yeah. teacher is a manager. Every manager has a group of people that they're over over and above. So the the school district would have absolute um, control of who to give that to, and it would be a pertinent for that uh, district to give every not every teacher but every school in the district that particular permission. But here's a better plan. And if you can get to the superintendents in, in the United States, it seems more difficult right now because just the way the money is handled. But again, if you go grassroots and you start talking to teachers, and then if you can get into the superintendents, think about this: if every school district would then go to their teachers and say, you know, if you become a reseller. You not only have your own platform for your own retirement system beyond the school district, you have every means for parent-teacher conferences, every means for peer-to-peer -peer conferences, and then it just goes beyond and beyond and beyond. If you and oh, one point I wanted to say is remember that every district, especially private schools, since you brought that up, Mallory, private schools are always um, afraid that their curriculums will go out there. And if it goes public, you know they lost their um, uh, handle on that. Only the only thing that on passive has is the license to promote your curriculum. You still own it. They, uh, you know, no one else can grab that. And you can you 
give that permission to whomever is coming in. So a private school can actually, and that's what I tell the people in the Bahamas, the private schools are always looking for students. Well, guess what? Now you can go from island to island, and then you can actually start bringing students in from other countries. So it's going to be huge. But back to your license, I do believe the district, uh, because I bring up the point of the private college that we have in the Bahamas, that that college will be able to give every staff and every professor um, a license, the, the ability to go into that O staff, into that whole platform. And then remember um, the team when we were shown O staff, if, if a parameter or a, a field has to be changed, all you have to do is write to support and say, could you change this to X, Y, Z rather than what it is already? And they can adapt that very easily. I, I got a little long winded, but I hope I answered your question. Well, one thing that I did want to point out, though, and this is coming from a fundraising standpoint, as opposed to getting into the school administrator, the people who are actually making the decisions and the parent teacher organizations. If you can't get into the, to see the superintendent and explain the whole concept, explain the whole platform, you could possibly uh, make inroads with the head of the PTO for that particular school and say, okay, here is a, this is a hundred dollars opportunity. I mean, when it was explained to me, I was like, for $97, of course, I'm going to gamble on this. Uh, what else have I wasted $97 on, you know? But um, so, so at least the PTO could claim that founding position put and put the school in line uh, for, the, the eventual benefits, financial benefits that are going to come down the, down the pike, and also the, the myriad of products that are available on the dashboard for the teachers. So that might be another way to, um, to get into the schools and uh, from, from, a, from a perpetual fundraiser standpoint. That's absolutely correct. And we also address that down where we're working with the Bahamian teachers. We remember I mentioned the parent teacher conferences. That's mm -hmm. a perfect platform to say, take this now to your PTO and explain it. So you're absolutely correct. I got smiling when I heard you say that. <laughs> so we've got 60 days. We need to get busy. Absolutely. It's counting down. But you don't, to... don't forget resellers. Don't forget yeah. resellers. So it, it's going to be perpetual and it will move it, for a long time. It will be. But if you can get in now, you should. Absolutely. Thank you, Mallory. Nice to meet you. And thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you, uh -huh. Daryl Cook. Um, right now, we do have Daryl Cook here with us. Uh, he has very well knowledge in this field. So if you, any one of you who are here and have questions in regarding to this topic, how to approach somebody, how to share this with anybody, the school, school district or, or, or private school, or even you know, chapters, right? Uh, feel free to raise your hands. We do have about 30 minutes left here. So please feel free to raise your hands. Gladys, good to have you here with us. Please go ahead and unmute your mic and uh, make your comments or state your questions. Thank you so much, Julie and Milo, for this discussion. This is a great one. I know many leaders have said so many things, uh, speakers, I really appreciate that was very informative, but I'm going to say something, uh, how OCAD, uh, the, on passive generally will help teachers and especially academy. Uh, I have loved ones and friends who are teachers who worked so hard throughout their lives but the retirement is so little, you know, $20 a month, $30 a month in your old age, what can you do? We know teaching is a very heavy career in terms of waking up every single morning, Monday to Friday. And when you come home, you still continue working, marking the papers. So you literally don't have time to rest. Your body wears down as the years go by. And then in your old age, especially in third world countries, you don't, that's the retirement you get. What 
can that take care of? It cannot take care of your health in your old age. It cannot feed you in your old age. It cannot feed your children and your grandchildren in your old age. So at this time, what I'm doing is trying to talk to the teachers because they are knowledgeable. They have subjects they are passionate about. If they can start putting classes together because on passive has the tools that they can use once they, you know, they have their courses written, you know, put together, they can have them on, on passive such that they can have residual income in their old age. Because when you grow old, you don't have the energy to go find, you know, another job to start doing. So I believe that on passive will help the teachers to be able to monetize from their skills to have residual income in their old age. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gladys. Uh, very true. A lot of teachers working hard because they want to have a good retirement, right? But right now, how many of them are actually working because they have a passion to do it? I'm very sure if we were taking the money or the salary out of the equations and just focusing on the passion of teaching, I'm very sure we'd be able to find so many of that teachers out there. Within, if they be, if they are founders of Unpassive, the living conditions part has already taken out of the equations, right? So now all they got to do is focusing on their passion instead. And that's why I love about this topic, sharing this topic so that all of us can really think, are there teachers in my life? Are there, you know, coaches in our life, mentors in our life that I really truly want to sponsor, not only to sponsor, just to share this topic, just to share on passive with them. Uh, Niraj, so good to see you and have you here. Please unmute your mic. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Julie. Uh, so you had asked a question, how to approach teachers. Uh, personally, I have not approached anybody. Uh, but uh, this is what I would do if I approach one. I would, I, I would, uh, I would tell them, okay, this is the future of education. Number one, remote, uh, remote learning. Second is lifeline, uh, lifelong learning. It's gone are those days when you had education just to get a job. Now it is the education is lifelong. Third is AI in learning. And fourth is nano, uh, nano learning. That means uh, educate, educating the students in small sessions of 10, 15 minutes, very small. Now, all uh, I think majority of this uh, uh, are covered by academy. Uh, first thing, uh, you, uh, apart from academy, you can also use OConnect, where you can actually conduct a live class. Then you can use OFOST where you want to give information about uh, to all the students who have uh, taken your course. You want to inform them about a new course that is available for, from them. Uh, then you can use uh, OShop if you want to create an own merchandise uh, for better engagement. And lastly, OChat. OChat uh, means that uh, if, if a student has a question about a particular topic that uh, the tutor is actually teaching, uh, ready-made answers will be available. So uh, there will be no disruption when, uh, uh, when the tutor is actually teaching. So this, is, uh, this I think, uh, are the, are the tools that OnPassive can help according to me. Absolutely. Thank you, Niraj, for bringing some of the products up because it's truly not only Academy can help teachers, the other products in OnPassive can do that as well. The entire ecosystem of OnPassive can help any individuals who want to teach, who want to share their passion. Are there any other questions uh, that anyone would like to bring up? Any, any angles that we haven't touched? in this topic at all. All right, in the chat, uh, I'm, I share the YouTube link for this discussion. If anyone would like to take that and save that with you, uh, just in case you have anyone that 
you know, in the field that we're talking about, you can actually share this discussion with them as well. There's a lot of nuggets in this discussion that we brought up. I see David Schweitzer has his hand raised. David, did you want to speak? Okay, I, I just want to ask one question of Daryl, and uh, we're talking about teaching here. Um, how is it going to help for special, educa special education people? How is it going to help? How is it going to help that? Daryl Cook, do you, would you like to answer the question? Wow, what a loaded question. Every, every student in my book is a special, special needs case. Uh, I go, I'm going to answer that maybe in a kind of a convoluted way. If anybody knows about the old Montessori school idea and the philosophy came out of France, uh, it's that every child already has the adult in them, what they're going to be. So when you take a special ed teacher, okay, their job is to come in and to try to take where that student is from point A to try to help them get, you know, into the realm of the normal everyday school schedule. There's nothing normal today in the school schedule. So you take Academy. If a teacher has a, the um, tool, the platform, and there's many out there, but I think we're going to have the superior one. If that special uh, education, or educator has a platform to where they can take their best strategies for each individual student, record that, and then be able to do the one-on-one -on -one with the student with the O-Connect platform. You know, just think about where those um, um, strengths for the student can come out and the strengths for the teacher. I saw so many times in the public, I taught 24 years in a public school, but it was a very tiny public school. So I worked very, very, very uh, carefully and, and strategically with those special needs teachers because they have the skill set. So if, if the um, student and that, that special needs teacher can have the platform every day to go outside the norm, that's what happens in the, in the, you know, the regular classroom setting. Number one, you don't have the time. And number two, you generally don't have the ability to get outside of the box. And so I think that's what the special needs teachers have to see with a platform where they can kind of move outside of the box and then work individually with each one of those students. And Mr. Mufara said it many months ago, once you record that lesson, you can keep going back and tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it. So now you have it and it can be re replicated not only for this student for this time, but you have now a video library when you have another student that has a similar situation, boom, you bring that up and you can use that again. So I, ho I hope that kind of gave you um, enough um, ammunition to start to think about how far this could go, especially for the special needs teacher. Oh, and about Boom. reporting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when you have to start recording and reporting everything as a, as a teacher, you have no time. With those staff and the ability to put everything that you need into that digital format, I think it's going to free up a teacher's time at home tremendously. That's great. Wow. Girl, I used to be one. So, oh, <laughs> I used to be one. So, I'm, I'm, that's great. That's beautiful. Thank you for the questions and thank you for the answer, Daryl. Um, true. I mean, you, you can create your own library within on Passive's products. That's beautiful. I mean, you, 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 don't, you only have to do it once and then you can go back and tweak it and, and, and continue your course and open to up to so much more. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Thank you, Daryl. Um, I see Runa. Runa has her hand raised. Runa, good to see you. Please go ahead and unmute your mic. Thank you, Julie and everyone. Thank you so much for giving me time and opportunity to talk um, regarding, this is a good topic, academy for all passive. Thank you. The place where I come from. Runa, I... Can you hear me? Hello? 
I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Yes, the this academy is a good topic. Thank you so much for that, Julie and Milo, and Mati and other LC leaders. Thank you. The place where I come from, the school started in 1987. And to this day, the village, that village, that uh, the school, we don't have any teachers. Some teachers, they go because the place is the, um, the remote, isolated. There's no services there, so they have to run away. In doing that, um, many students did not learn alone. They, uh, learn a lot. They did not go to high schools and colleges till now. So this um, academy will be very helpful to help my people and uh, my community schools, primary, I mean the primary schools, colleges and high schools in my district in Papua New Guinea. And um, yeah, to help a lot of students. So I'm so proud to be um, a founder in, in on Passive, and thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Benny, you are so valuable and I would be happy and will help, help me to come to my country, my village to help me a lot and other teachers as well. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Runan, good to see you here as well. Absolutely, this, this <coughs> program that we are doing on passive values, if you are going out there and share the values of on passive, I think we're gonna change a lot of life. Not only the teachers, the professors, but the students as well. And at the end of the day, it's all in the education, right? Even from very young kids until old age, we are still learning. So thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are now, about 20 minutes till the end of the time. I'm gonna leave some of the time for Milo to recap our whole conversation. But if anyone has any last question for Daryl, please raise your hands or, um, all right, John will be the last speaker today. And then uh, I'm gonna, I would love to hear from Daryl some of his words of wisdom as well. So John, actually, go right ahead, please. Yes, actually mine wasn't for Daryl. I was gonna take it down as soon as I heard you for Daryl. Uh, I was gonna say uh, something about my own industry. Uh, kind of hard to hear you. Can you get closer to the mic? Yes. Is this oh. any better? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, I was going to say, I, I, it wasn't for Daryl. It was for my, my industry, uh, um, theater arts and entertainment arts in general. But when I'm sitting here, I'm actually at work on a film right now. I'm on a break. And I kept thinking about how it applies to everything from uh, uh, actors, uh drama coaches, um, producers, um, just everybody in that industry. Uh, for example, uh, oh, vocal coaches, uh, singing teachers. Um, I know a lady that's been teaching singing for so many years and during the COVID times, uh, she's had to do her entire uh, coaching and teaching uh, through another product that we know, uh, which would be somewhat like our O-Connect. But o, o, o Academy um, is something that I can even think my own union, for example. I get messages every day about webinars, and, uh, and they may be for anything from, uh, uh, for example, a lot of our auditions today are done self-tape online. And, you, and they're trying to teach us through webinars by a certain product they use. And, and then they'll also tell us about software products for taping for editing, all things that we're going to have in, uh, on Passive. And it would be so much easier if uh, we would be able to take all those products incorporated into one and be taught classes, uh, like I say, everything from acting to just how to make your own self-tape for an audition. Uh, so I just wanted to bring that up. That this, this goes into so many areas when you're talking about education, uh, and, and it's also considered into the arts as well. So I just wanted to bring that up very quickly. That's all I got. Absolutely. Thank you, John. You brought up a point, too. It's not only in school, right? In arts, sure. theaters, dramas, everywhere. Yeah. So, you know, I'm very sure you know one of those person in that field 
this would be a great opportunity for you to share that with them. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. If you are in any of the any of the topic, actually the field that we are talking about, theater, teaching, school, education, this is it for you. This is a place for you. So please get back with the person who shared this with you and ask them for more details. You know, as you, we all know, on passive products are currently in beta testing, but you want to tap into it right now just so that you get understanding about what are these products going to be beneficial to you. So get back with the person who shared this with you. Become a founders if you would like to learn from this point on. It's only cost you $97 and $5 credit card fee. You get to tap into the educations, the profit, the values that we all get to tap in the past three years. It's not too late. You have about less than 60 days. So get back with the person who shared this with you. And if you want to watch this webinar again, please save uh, the YouTube link. I share it here. Or if you're watching on YouTube right now, save that link, go back and listen to it and see what is in this conversation help you to be part of on passive as well. Milo is going to do the recap in about five minutes. Daryl Cook, thank you for being here. You have brought so much value to our conversation uh, today. I would like to for you to give us some of your word of wisdom as you are the person who actually been doing this, not only in teaching, but you've been sharing this with everyone around Bahamas and where you are today. So give us your word of wisdom there, Daryl. Well, Julie, thanks a lot. I'm, I'm glad I jumped on. I, I'm typically not, you know, a guy to get into the spotlight, but John, I'll have to tell you, working in a small school district in a small community, I did a lot of drama. I never got to the level of summer stock theater, but I worked a lot with some very good directors and some theater owners. And uh, in the school, you know, we had the drama club, we had all kinds of um, uh, hoops we had to hurdle. So I had to learn about lighting. I had to learn about soundboards and balance and all of that. So you think about just the little school teacher who can use Academy and not only learn how to do all that from other professionals like yourself that could put those, um, you know, instructional videos, but then they can start creating their own and give them to their students. What a great platform Academy will have on that. So uh, Julie, in, in summary, remember what Ash said, you find the need of the teacher. And I believe that's going to be the, the, the approach that we're gonna to have to go with schools. Now, there are a lot of private schools where the um, owners came out of the teaching industry. That's probably why they have the private school. So that's another avenue, but find their need, then give them the solution. I think it's that simple. And I believe that we have the solution and you were right. We're so close now. It's not when Marty said, when I, I know of that particular instant when they were talking to the university, well, you know what? It's so close now and don't be afraid to, to find a sponsor that really, you know, it's, it's $97. I know that not everybody can do that, but folks, if you can find that teacher my wife and I are investing in people. I have four grandchildren in Bahamas. So that was my, <laughs> my impetus there because my daughter and son-in-law, they want them in good, my grandchildren in good schools, but the cost number one for a good private school is very, very, very high. And then to, to try to find um, a curriculum on, online that's affordable is another challenge. So my goal in the Bahamas was to say, I want many, many options for my children and grandchildren. So why shouldn't every child in the Bahamas, every other country in the world have that same option? So that was my drive. Absolutely, thank you so much, Daryl. Uh, someone just sent me a text and I just wanna throw it out real, really quick. Um, he has a friend who wrote a book and obviously he wants to put it in on passive to sell it. But his question is, does on passive take a cut from the sale? Um, and, uh, and then also what products would he be able to put that product, that book on? Do you want to take that question, Daryl? Well, I would put it this way. 
I don't think on passive is out there for on passive. The mo everything I hear Mr. Mufara say, he's going to be branding us and sending us out. So all on passive is, is the platform. You're, you're going to purchase the package to be able to market. So on passive has already earned its profit share on that. So all you're going to do now is use on passive to market your book. I believe that's the, the, the avenue. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Daryl, for being here with us. Milo, I'm sending it back to you. I know that you are safe and uh, stable in your car right now. Please give us your recaps. Julie, it was a great show. Uh, I got to hear most of it. I, I did miss some of it uh, in and out of the shop, and it's freezing up here. But uh, what a great show and some good nuggets, man, and some of the takeaways from it. You know, we have the product that will do anything that you can imagine. And, and I think what Daryl said, it allows you to think outside the box. You no longer are restricted by what your uh, software is or what, what your uh, books are. Remember, we have the Internet, which is a, a full line of resource. So, so what ever anyone has ever done, you have access to that. You have access to them showing you how to do that. And really, at the end of the day, we're talking about teachers. But at the end of the day, every one of us is a teacher, some way or another. If you're a mother, you're a teacher. If you're a father, you're a teacher. You know, uh, it's just something that is that we do, you know, uh, with life. And, and we'll be able to... Uh, bring that to everyone there'll be uh the resources are there no longer do you need a library you have the uh the resources there uh i thought as daryl was talking one of the big nuggets that i got was he talking about special ed teachers and i have a, a niece that is a special ed teacher you know and, and i know she puts a lot of time into her lessons and she puts a lot of crafts together and how they're gonna do it and stuff like that and when you think about it with this, you can do that lesson. And like Daryl said, you don't have to redo the lesson each time. You can tweak it. And I know they, they can do that somewhat, but not to the extent that if it's an hour lesson, uh, you know, you save that hour because all you do is you play the video or whatever, and you're teaching that lesson again, whereas uh, right now, you know, even though they've done the lesson before and they just have to repeat it, it still takes an hour to do. This saves them time. I think it will save them a lot of time uh, that that type of way. You know, as far as the uh, same way with uh, I got a couple nieces that are, are teachers and I know that they buy their students uh, pencils and paper and stuff, because remember, all of us aren't blessed as well as others. And uh, sometimes, you know, if you're blessed and you see a child that's trying to learn but doesn't have the essential tools that they need, you might go buy it for them. How cool is that that now we have, you know, own passive that, uh, you know, you can do that, whether you sponsor a student or you sponsor a student's family or whatever. And how cool is it that they are able to be connected to the to the students, you know, you're connected to the students and then to their parents and you could give the uh, homework out, you know, and stuff like that. But then you have the ability to that hour that you're not spending teaching per se, you can take that, that hour and you can, uh, you can talk to each of the students at separate times and, and bring it to them individually. I think that's a great, great point to make, you know, but even if you break it down to, like I said, we're all teachers and uh, John was saying about, you know, his industry and Daryl was saying, you know, about lighting and all that. There is so much that go into productions of musicians and concerts and stuff like this. And if you just have a little bit of knowledge where someone knows about it, it's easy to learn. Live. You know, if you have a video. You want to do this. How many times have we wanted to do something? And it's cool now because you can just go to YouTube and usually punch in and find anything you want to do. But this would be more on a personal level, you know, that you have a teacher, you know, and even how about going to uh, Sunday school teachers? 
what if a Sunday school teacher can make their program? You know, they could they could be there with the children, but they could also show a video of, uh, you know, uh, maybe, uh, you know, puppets or something, which uh, kids love. And it can explain a story a lot of times, but everyone doesn't have the ability to uh, be a puppeteer or, 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 you know, whatever. But you'll be able to share things like this and, and learn. I think all of this uh, uh, comes around to, you know, whatever you need, I think it's there with own passive. You know, if you need it, it's there. If it's not there, guess what? They will make it if it, if it is for the masses, they will make it. So the big takeaway is, you know, for teachers, oh, and uh, someone else, I think it was maybe Lister, I, I can't remember, but someone brought up about the retirement, you know, and it is so true that, you know, when we get older, you know, who wants to be out, you know, having to work all the time? What about uh, using that for a retirement plan? You know, uh, it works. Everything works, you know, with own passive. If you can imagine it, it's there. You know, and uh, Phil the Dream says, if you build it, they will come. And basically, that's what own passive is. Uh, Mr. Ashma Farah said many times, whatever we need, we can make. And, you know, keep your minds open because I'm telling you, own passive is much bigger than any of us think. Uh, but I thought there was some really good golden nuggets that were uh, dropped today. Marty had some some good ones when he was uh, talking, you know, and uh, just the whole the whole program. So I uh, just want to thank you all for coming. And remember, we wouldn't have a show if you was not here. So thank you, Julie. Sorry, I kind of left you hanging today a little bit, but I had to get my tire fixed. I got to get out and drive tonight. So I only had that time to do it. So. All right. Okay. Thank you, Milo. I'm glad you're still trying to get in. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us. Thank you, everyone who have contributed, especially Daryl. You just popped in and you really blow this into a lot of areas. Why we appreciate you always. Everyone, as you understand, the Julie and Milo show, our purpose is to create values, to bring people out, to bring people ideas and thinking out into the open to share that with other people. So please do share um, the videos that we have done. We have done how on passive can help with music industry. We've done how on passive could help with real estate, with teachers, with churches. We've done about four shows now regarding this topic. We are continue to do a lot more. And if you have a topic that you feel that there is a need in it that needs to be addressed and needs to bring up, please let us know. We will absolutely will focus on that on Wednesday. We are focusing on how on passive could help with the health and wellness industry, possibly focusing on the products. I know a lot of us are coming from other health and wellness industry or affiliate business, right? I'm sure we do have some of that. And I know that we all have a background in health and wellness from somewhere down the road, or even if the product that you are currently taking right now that you feel is beneficial for other, right? It's not about the show that tells about the product, you know, what you're into, but how are we going to take the values of on passive to share to these company or these product company as well? So I, I really like you to think about that, right? And then come to with us on Wednesday, bring that up and have a discussion. How are we going to help that industry as well? So without further ado, I would love, love for everyone to open your mic, say hello or say goodbye to everyone and have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're watching us right now on YouTube, please get back with the person who shared this with you. And if you want to save the YouTube link to share that with other, I encourage you to do so. Thank you so much. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night. Thank you. Good night from Houston, Texas. Good night. Good night from Houston. Good night from Houston. My love. Good night from Houston. 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 Good night from Houston
Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye